I've been playing GTA since 2015, which is about four years ago. So after playing GTA for seven years, and distract myself from having an existential crisis. Let's continue with the video. So after playing GTA for seven years, I've encountered quite a lot of players and as the title suggests, I'll be dabbling with a bit of segregation and putting them into groups. First of all, we have to start with the noob. Now the term noob has been around for God knows how long, but unsurprisingly, these are the players that just aren't particularly good at the game. Now there can be a few types of noob, for example, there can be the player that has just got GTA and doesn't have any experience, so don't really know what they're doing. They also don't have any money yet, so they can't buy any useful items, such as a rifle. In fact, they're basically helpless without a little financial aid, and probably hate being poor. Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs, where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you're having doubts, look at all these happy customers. Okay, so they set themselves up with a little bit of money, but their spending habits will be comparable of that to a failed TikTok star. Island boy. They wouldn't have bought anything that would help them progress in GTA Online, and at this point, it's pretty much where they'll stay at for the rest of their time on the game. Now, you can spot these players either by the player list, as it won't be a very high level, and will probably be dressed like Adam Sandler. <laughs> And outside the player list, they'll most likely be driving around in a stolen car, crashing into everything they can see. There's a high chance they'll be amidst a five-star police chase, pretending they're in the scene from Baby Driver, or they could just be beating up a prostitute. Basically, anything that doesn't really require money to do. Should you encounter a noob, one of two things is going to happen. Sometimes they'll be friendly and enjoy the company of another player. You could enjoy cruising around the map with them, but sometimes they make it their life's goal to try and kill you, for no reason whatsoever. And they always lose. <laughs> Bruh. They may also suddenly switch up on you and decide to not be your friend. Bruh. Their reactions are unpredictable at best, so be wary around them, because you never know what they're going to do next. So using my extremely thorough and high-tech ranking system that I've just created, there's going to be five levels, all ranked out of five. So the first category is skill. Obviously, this is just how good the player is, and everyone knows the noob isn't very good, so it's very low. Next up, we got cringe, which is just how cringe they are. And personally, I find noobs just a little bit cringe because they can just be really annoying sometimes. Then we've got money, which can stay as it is because they basically have none. Then we've got friendliness, and on average, I'd say this is pretty high for a noob. And finishing it off, we've got predictability. As I mentioned before, they are not predictable whatsoever. You never know what they're going to do. But that's it. Let's move on. One step above the noob is what I'd call the casual player. These guys aren't particularly interesting as their main goal is now just to have fun with friends. Something I'm yet to experience. Maybe get some money, drive around in pimped out cars and basically just have a good time. Another thing I'm yet to experience. I DON'T GET THIS sh They don't take the game too seriously and are probably the most common player you can meet. They're not particularly good at PvP but it doesn't really matter because there's no point fighting them anyway. But onto ranking them. Their skill level is just one step above the noob because they kinda know what they're doing. They're not very cringe, usually have a little bit of money, a bit more than a noob, are generally the friendliest players you'll meet, and they're somewhat predictable. You can sometimes get a few bad eggs. But now we can finally get onto the more interesting players. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the grinder. And I'm not talking about this type, or even this type, but these players are the entrepreneurs of Los Santos. Think of Gary V, Andrew Tate, the professional. They have one goal and one goal only, getting that bread. Everyone knows cash is king in Los Santos, and over the years, Rockstar have added many ways for players to get it. From transporting stolen goods, to owning a drug empire, to pulling off meticulously planned out heists, you can become a criminal mastermind without the fear of actually going to jail. First up, there's the casual grinder. <coughs> A casual grinder. The casual grinder might bash out the Kirabriko heist, do some payphone missions, along with a few cell missions, and call it a day. Their goal is to get money, but they'll do whichever missions they feel like doing, maybe to help expand their business, or just for a bit of fun. And then we've got the hardcore grinders. The grinders that grind like there's no tomorrow. They grind their fucking socks off. They make the casual grinders look broke. These hardcore grinders have the Sigma male grinder. What am I talking about? These guys are hardwired into every newswire notification, so they can calculate the most efficient way of getting more money. They were roommates. Hold on, gotta check this. Two times money this week. Babe, cancel that date. I'm grinding. But honey, you need to pick the kids up from school. The kids can walk home. I'm grinding. But it's 15 miles. Where are your socks? I told you, I'm f***ing grinding. <laughs> I don't really know what that was. But you can spot a grinder in GTA Online mainly by their actions, as they rarely dress the same. Some dress in suits, some look like tryhards, but they're all out getting that money. Most of their time is spent minding their own business, just trying to get their jobs done. However, that is sometimes not possible to do. Grinders arguably have one of the toughest times in the game. Not only do Rockstar shaft them with the most monotonous missions known to man, but players specifically go out of their way just to grief these guys. Right, so what you gotta do is drive to the other side of the map to pick up a trailer and then bring it back. How hard can it be? 
Uh, is there anything else I need to know? Not really. Just don't drive too fast or I shall lose money. Right. And don't hit anything or I shall lose money. Okay, sounds easy. Oh, and we've broadcasted what you're doing to the entire lobby with an incentive for them to kill you. Bruh. And we've given them vehicles that are basically impossible to counter. Oh, f*** this. So yeah, grinders have it hard. These guys are riddled with PTSD from their cargo getting destroyed, so can sometimes be wary of anyone getting close. You can usually catch a grinder on any of these vehicles because they're quite useful for doing PvP, but if you do encounter them, don't be aggressive, maybe offer to help them out. But let's get on to ranking them. First up, we have skill. They're usually pretty good and know what they're doing when it comes to PvP and PvE. Personally, I think they're just a little bit cringe, mainly down to how serious they can take it. They obviously have a lot of money, can be relatively friendly and are fairly predictable. They're not likely to turn around and randomly grief you unless you provoke it. But now, the next type of person, the tryhard. Now if there's one area of GTA that I have a lot of experience in, it's this. The name tryhard in GTA Online is a little bit different to other games. In most games it means someone that is usually really good, abuses most of the game's mechanics and probably doesn't go outside. With GTA it's all of that, minus the actual being good part. To reflect this, I'm going to briefly explain a few of the different types of tryhards there are. In fact, if you're enjoying this video, let me know if I should do a full section on all the different kinds of tryhards. Uh, if you want that, just drop a like. But yeah, let's keep going. So first up, there's the one we try hard. These guys suck. Their natural skill is so low, they've resorted to using the cringiest tactics to try and make themselves feel better about the fact that they're complete dog shit. They have the generic try hard face paints, hair and outfits, and do the typical suicide loop so they're hard to kill. Honestly, oh I hate God. these guys. They see the KD ratio as some sort of dick measuring contest, and maybe if their KD is high enough, they can forget about the fact that they'll never feel the touch of a woman. Then we have the score warriors. Sometimes these guys can be good because of how smart they play, especially against other score warriors, for example staining, but slowly they've evolved to be overwhelmed with the score that they see it as a defining factor of who is better. You kill someone once while they're AFK with the ultra cannon, that means you're infinitely better. They will use every tactic in the book to try and get kills and sacrifice any shred of dignity they might have had. The phrase, it's in the game to be used, will be tossed around a lot, which, for some players, justifies their use of god mode glitches. Oh, hell no. On the topic of god mode, these guys love RC cars. They have infinite range and can be used to kill other players, and if you get blown up, it doesn't even count as a kill. Honestly, Rockstar needs to rework these. Like, maybe give them battery life or something? I don't know. These players will spend most of their time hiding either off radar, in a facility, or like I said before, in an RC car, for sometimes hours on end. I think they're hiding from their responsibilities of being a functioning member of society. In an actual fair fight, 90% of these players will get absolutely demolished, but that's exactly why they don't play fair. Some wannabes evolve into this type of player so they can trick themselves into thinking they're good or smart. A good example would be my encounters with this griefer crew. These guys suck. They use Godmode glitches off the radar, Opto Cannon, and when I finally get them in a somewhat fair fight, they don't last more than two kills. But that's to be expected. Depending on your definition of a tryhard, you could include players like me in this category. I would call myself more just a PvP player rather than a tryhard, but this is why I kind of want to do another video explaining them all. But enough ranting, it's ranking time. So I've put skill right bang in the middle. You can get some tryhards that are really good, but then you've got the atrociously bad players that balances it out. Cringe is obviously quite high because my god, the way that some of these people play is one of the saddest things I've ever seen and I've seen boy in the striped pyjamas. A lot of tryhards have mode accounts to fund their orbital cannon addiction, so that's why money is quite high. Friendliness is pretty low because even though tryhards only really fight other tryhards and their crippling depression, if you encounter one, they'll probably try and kill you. And finally, predictability is pretty high because you kinda know what you're getting yourself into. Next up, we have the Griefer. Everyone likes to feel happy, even if it doesn't happen anymore. Some find joy in hanging out with friends, playing sports, traveling, maybe even a bit of gaming. I, I, I don't want me what you have macros, you have soft. I this is a feeling the griefer has never felt. To make up for it, they make it their goal to ruin everyone else's fun around them. They often look similar to the tryhard with the thermal goggles and kind of military esque outfit, but they don't usually have the face paints. But what they do have is a hard on for cargo grinders. Like the tryhards, these guys completely suck. If you show any sort of resistance to fighting back, they'll either hide until you've disappeared or just leave the session and find someone else a grief. I've made many videos on players like this and they're all pretty much the same. They grief on oppressor, you kill them, they leave, repeat. In fact, I've turned myself into a griefer for the sole purpose of griefing other griefers. In fact, with the guy on screen, it got to the point where even the sight of me joining their session would just make them leave because they knew that they couldn't do anything to stop me.
Unfortunately, griefing is so ingrained into their tiny little schools that no matter how much I fuck them up, they don't stop it. It's a shame there's not someone like me in every session. I made a video where I went after a whole crew that devoted themselves to griefing and every player was the same. They're all cowards. They can only fight players that are defenseless, which means they don't even enjoy the challenge of fighting someone that might actually fight back. They just enjoy annoying others. This makes them, in my opinion, some of the worst people in the game. And if their actions online are anything to go by, I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't particularly nice people in real life. However, no one can prove that, as they probably haven't even met another human being. Anyway, it's ranking time! First up, skill. Griefers suck. They only pick fights with people that can't fight back, so that makes them the worst of the worst. Cringiness is obviously very high. Don't think I've got to explain that one. Money is usually pretty high as well, because they've had modded accounts or have glitched money. They are not friendly whatsoever, and because all they do all day every day is grief, they are very predictable. But finally, the last category, introducing the cheater. No, 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 this kind. First up, if someone cheats in their own time and doesn't do anything to affect anyone else, then I don't mind that. For example, I met a modder and he put up some really cool lights around a car show they were having. I also randomly met a guy that was modding and helped me do some Rockstar Editor clips. These are the cheaters I don't mind, but the ones I do mind are the ones that use cheats to gain an advantage. Now cheaters are synonymous with PC, but cheaters can be a thing on console as well. Just take the countless Godmo glitches for example. The problem that I have with them is that I find having a challenge part of the fun of any game. When you resort to cheating, the challenge disappears, so I can't see where you'll get any enjoyment. Yeah, maybe the novelty of being god mode can be exciting, but surely not for very long. The players that use aimbot and triggerbot mods will know deep down that they aren't good enough to win fights, so there isn't any real satisfaction there. And when you use mods like this, it's just another form of griefing. Basically, at this point, you've already lost. People that abuse glitches, like the god mode glitch on console as well, aren't any better. It really just shows you're not confident in your own skill. It's just a shame Rockstar never does anything about it. Anyway, it's ranking time! Skill is the lowest it can be, because anyone that has to use any form of cheats just instantly sucks. The only exception I will make is modded money, because I have modded money and it doesn't really affect your perceived skill or grief anyone in the process. Cringe is pretty high, because if you need to use cheats to supposedly beat someone, then that's pretty cringe. Money is also very high because it's likely modded, and friendliness and predictability are both in the middle because they are both friendly and unfriendly cheaters, but it just depends how you interact with them. But anyway, this is the end of the video. I've actually put in a lot of effort, so any likes are greatly appreciated. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. I really want to hear your feedback. Uh, maybe I'll do some more videos like this. I've already got some ideas in the bank, just go execute them. But yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>